Hi guys, so today I want to show you how easy it is to create the double ring that goes around the Starbucks logo when you're making your Starbucks, whether it's the cold cup or the hot cup. So if you have Cricut Design Space, it's it's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to put this one off in the corner for reference. So the first thing you want to do is create a circle. And we're going to leave it as is, so 3.11 by 3.11. Now let's make another circle. We want this one to be bigger. So we're going to make this one 4.931 by 4.931. I'm going to bring this one to the front just so I can see it. And I'm going to select both layers. You can only select um, two layers at a time for this because we're going to actually slice in a moment. So first you want to go to a line center them. Okay. Now you want to slice. So that is going to take out the negative space. It's going to make this, um, this opening in the middle. So when you take this middle piece, you'll see that it's actually now two smaller circles. So let's delete that. And now we need to create this, um, this skinnier ring around the thicker ring. So we're going to make another circle and we want this one to be a little bit bigger. We want this one to be 5.275 by 5.275. Create another circle on top and we're going to make this one 5.056 by 5.056. Same thing, let's select both of them, center and slice. Let's get rid of the negative space. And now can select both. And when I select, I either um, I just drag over what I want to select, or if you're on a Mac or a Windows computer, you can shift click on one item and then shift click on the other. Why is that not working? So look, shift click, shift, click. Now they're both selected. Center them. And because this is one piece and I always want it to stay as one piece, I'm just going to weld them together. Now, what we've created here is a perfect circle and the Starbucks logo actually is not a perfect circle. So for the cold cup, you are want, you're going to want to make the measurements um, 3.654 by 3.41. So before you do that, when you go to size, you need to unlock the constraints on the size. So these are the lock proportions. You want to unlock it because you don't want it to be a perfect circle. So we're going to make this 3.654 by 3.41. And this will fit perfectly around the Starbucks cold cup. Now, for the hot cup, I'm just going to take this copy and paste. The hot cup logo is a tad bit bit bigger. So let's go here, unlock your proportions, and then we're going to make it 4.14 by 3.864. There you go. You have your ring for the cold cup and the ring for the hot cup. Okay, so now we have our design that we want to go around the Starbucks logo, but we don't have any text. It's just as easy to add the text to the logo and I'm going to show you how. So I actually have the font that, um, the actual Starbucks font, I did pay for the commercial use license. So you're gonna wanna do that if you're planning on selling it. So it's Santana Black. And I'm going to just write my name. So Alexis's, and then on the bottom, I'm gonna put coffee, but I'm gonna show you how to curve the text now. So let's make this white so we can actually see it. What I'm gonna do is just gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then whenever I'm curving text, I like to make sure that it's, um, that it's centered horizontally. So I want the middle point of the logo to be the middle point of my name. And then Cricut Design Space has this curve feature. So you're just gonna wanna click on it 
and move it until it looks good. Now you're gonna have to adjust this a couple of times. I think I wanna make this a little bit smaller. Yeah, see it's a little bit big. And I'm just gonna keep selecting both and making sure that they're centered because I really wanna keep it that way. You can play around with the spacing. And just adjust it until it looks and looks good. Okay. Turn this a little bit more. I think I should make this a tad bit smaller. Like I said, keep centering it because you don't want it to look uneven. And there we go. We have the first part. Now what we want to do is we don't want, um, if we don't cut this out, if we don't slice this from our original design, it's not going to cut it. So what you need to do is, just fix one more time, same thing we did before. So just click on the name, click on your design and slice. So you want to take out the negative space and then you'll see it's transparent. So when you go to cut this, your machine will cut out the letters. Now we want to put coffee the bottom. Again, let's make this white so we can see what we're doing. Center it so it's perfectly center when we go to curve it. Let's be a little bit smaller. Perfect. So now you're going to want to pull the curve the other way. You're going to want to pull the diameter negative so it curves up instead of curves down. So let's curve it back. And you're going to have to play around with this. Okay. Just make sure it's centered again. Every time you move it, I always make it centered. I'm obsessed with making sure that it looks perfect. So let's make it a tiny bit smaller. Center it one more time. And then we are going to click on our text, shift click on the logo, slice it, delete the negative space. And you will see when I drag this, it's transparent. So you can see through it, which means the machine is going to cut it like that. Now I like to add the two little stars on the side. So just go over here to shapes stars let's make it smaller and again i always make it white just so i can see what i'm doing and i get a better idea of what it's going to look like i like them on the smaller side and i'm going to put i'm going to copy and paste this star and put this one over here because before you slice again you want to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned so we only want to align these two together so let's center them vertically, make sure that they're nice and even. This one needs to move over a tad. If you wanna move it in a perfectly straight line, like, you know, sometimes your hand shakes a little bit, you just wanna click on shift and then you can slide it left to right and it won't move up or down. So let's do that one more time, center it vertically. This needs to move over a little bit, needs to move over a little bit and perfect. So now you can only slice one star at a time because you can only slice um, you can only slice when you're holding down to two layers. So we're going to shift click on our larger design, shift click on the star, slice. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then we're going to slice this star. And voila, 